Hey Scrappers, Tom here from iScrap and we're doing a 2022 recap on steel and iron prices and, and what uh, a little recap on what has happened throughout the year as well as a preview for what we think is going to be happening for at least the first half of 2023. So you're going to see a couple charts popping up. I'm going to talk about things and if you're looking to read more in-depth detail about these steel prices and the historical prices throughout 2022, you can click below in the descriptions and we have some prices on there. So. So what's happened this year? Well, we started off the year with the, the market down slightly in that January, February. Now, one of the themes that you'll hear throughout all of the recap videos that we have is going to be that March when the Ukrainian conflict started that started to ruffle a bunch of feathers and that really it scared people on where the prices were going to go. So that's actually where we saw some higher prices in that March, April time period when it came to steel. So if you look at the chart in front of you, um, back in, in, in March, April, May, we saw some real peaked prices when it came to the steel markets. And once we hit the summer, the second half of the summer, July, August, is really where we saw some big dips. For instance, light iron prices, we're in the 160 to 200 ton range. Once we hit the middle of the summer and then we got into the fall season, we saw light iron prices going down anywhere from 20 to $80 per ton. Um, we saw some areas where scrapyards weren't even paying for it because they must have had a further drive. So, you know, in that September, October area, we started to see some prices going down. Now, the end of November going into December, one of the things that we started to see was an uptick in the steel prices. We did start to see a 30 to $40 per ton uptick going into the end of the year, which was a nice thing. Things that have really affected the scrap prices on steel and iron scrap this year, Oil. I mean, oil prices have been a real catalyst on transportation, whether it's overseas, on barges, on trains, or in trucks. So that's really been, been one of the big things. You know, back in June when we saw those all-time record high prices, we saw it really expensive to transport things. But in the fourth quarter of 2022, we saw diesel prices continuing to be really high, which affected things on the trucking and train side of things. So that really hurt. Um, some other grades that we looked into, rotor prices. We saw an average throughout the year of $230 to $300. Uh, prices peaked back in April around $370 per ton. Going into 2023, one of the biggest things that we see, not only in the rotors or the light iron prices, the first half of the year is going to be real supply and demand. Um, one thing that we looked at, and we'll, we'll probably mention this in all of the different videos that we make for the recaps, is consumer demand. And what does that mean? Well, you and I buy cars, refrigerators, TVs, electronics, things that have metal in them. What we saw in 2021 was a short supply, which meant that there was not enough goods to quench consumers' needs, right? There was not enough stuff to buy. So what happened? Companies ramped up production, really put materials on shelves, and the second half of 2022, after a lot of those orders were caught up, we started to see retailers like Costco, Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, and many others have a lot of material a lot of products on their shelves and on top of regular discounts, they started to offer more discounted rates and that's largely because they just had so many products. So that does not bode well for scrap prices because if there's too many products out there, that means the demand for metals are not gonna be there. So what we expect to see on the consumer side of things, the first half of 2023, is gonna be a slower amount of consumption because of the holidays are gonna take some of the wind out of the sales, we're gonna see things get recalibrated, but we do expect to see the prices start to have an uptick the second into the third quarter of 2023. There's still a very strong demand worldwide for recycled metal, and a lot of it is going into a lot of new sources. India and Turkey are a couple of the main recyclers of steel. So going into 2023, if I was going to give you any type of advice, I would tell you to continue to hold your higher grades of steel, your rotors or your cast iron. But one of the things that I've always said for years and has held true is when you get materials into your truck, touching them two or three times costs you time and money. And a lot of times people will complain about steel prices and how they can't make any money on it. But one thing that we always have said is 
how much non-ferrous do you get, aluminum, brass, copper, wire, from those steel products? And is it worth your time to continue to get that stuff, move the lighter items out of your truck and focus on the higher dollar items? And that might be something that you look forward to doing and executing in 2023. And of course, let us know. So re quick recap, 2022, a very average, maybe a little above average year if you look at a 12 month basis for steel. First half of the year was strong. Second half of the year was kind of weak with a little bit of a, a heads up curve towards December. So that was nice to see. But going into 2023, the demand is gonna be there, but we do not expect steel prices to hit those four or five hundred dollar a ton marks for heavier grades that we saw in 2021. We expect the ranges to be in the 300 to 350 range, light iron 120 to 160, and that's kind of our expectations for 2023. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to read the comments below, read the entire recap that we had. Let us know what you think, and until next year, scrappers, I'll scrap you later. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you, and I'll scrap you later.